Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We want to lift you up right now, God. We want to lift you up right now, God, because you are worthy, God. We want to lift you up right now, God, because there is none other like you, Lord. We want to lift you up right now, God, because you said if we lift you up, God, you would draw all men unto you. And we want to lift you up right now, God. We want to bless you right now, God, because there is none other like you, God, in all the earth. You are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords. You are great, God, and you are greatly to be praised. There's none like you, God, in all the earth. You are truly one of a kind, Lord. And we just want to bless you right now, God. We just want to glorify your God because you are worthy, God. We want to lift you up, Father God, as being the only one true and living God. We want to give you everything that we have on today, God, because you are worthy. There's none like you, God, now, then, and even to come. You are truly one of a kind, God, and we just want to give you our best praise. We want to give you our best worship, God. We want to give you back everything that you gave us to us, and that's simply ourselves. We want to give it to you right now, God, because you are worthy of it. Not because of something that you do, not because of something that you already done, but simply because you are God. There's none like your God now, then, and even to come. You are truly one of a kind, God. And we want to glorify you right now, God. We're not going to allow anything to be lifted up higher than your God. We're not going to allow our thoughts to be lifted up higher than your God. We're not going to allow our situation to be lifted up higher than your God. We're not going to allow our circumstance to be lifted up higher than your God. We're not going to allow any other human being or any object, God, to be lifted up higher than your God. Because there's nothing and nobody that can compare to your God. There's nothing and nobody, God, that is even equal unto your majestic ways. Oh, God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the power. We give you all the honor, God, because you are worthy of it, God. We know and realize who you are, God. You are he who was, who is, and who is to come. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are God, him, God. And you are him all by yourself. You are the great I am, God. We know who you are, God. And we just want to ravage you right now, God. We just want to ravage you right now, God. We want to bow down to your God. We want to bow down to your God. Because that's the that it will go see. We dare not bow down to anything else, God. We dare not bow down to anybody else, God. Any crown we ever won, we lay at your feet. Any title we ever take, God, we lay at your feet. Any position we ever accomplish, God, we lay at your feet. We lay it all at your feet, God, because there's nothing, Father God, that can be exalted, compared, or even on the same level as you, God. Ha! Oh, God, we bless you right now, God. We bless you right now, God. Oh God, there's none like you, God. 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 And we just want to give you everything that we have, God. You say we ought to bless you and praise you with all our heart, body, mind, and soul, God. And we're going to do that on today, Father God. We're going to empty ourselves out of all that stuff. We're going to empty our minds from all that thought we had. We're going to lay all that stuff at your feet, God. Every worry we're going to put at your feet, God. Every concern we're going to put at your feet, God. Every doubt and fear, God, we're going to put at your feet. We're going to lay it all at your feet, God. Oh, God, even our financial burdens we're going to lay at your feet. Even the sickness and ailments in our bodies, God, we're going to lay at your feet. Even the brokenness in our very hearts and spirit, God. We're going to lay it at your feet, God. We're going to put all this stuff at your feet, God. Because 
Because we know God looks and at your feet, you're going to take care of it, God. And we know if we empty out all this stuff unto you, Father God, it cannot dwell in your presence. And we want to be in your presence, God. We want to be in your presence, God. We want to sit at your table and sup with you, God. Oh, God, we want to hear your voice, Lord. We just want to be with you, God. I got a meal go shocking it up, I see ya. Oh God, oh God, we are shut there and don't go see ya. We are your people, God, and we just want to tell you just how much we love you, God. We want to tell you just how much we enjoy you, God. If by chance we did not do it when we woke up this morning, we want to do it right now at this instant. If by chance we did not do it any time during the day, God, we want to do it in this very second, God. If by chance we have not even been mindful of you, God, we want to do it right now in this hour, God. Oh God, we want to give you everything that we have on today, Father God. Because you say cast our cares on you because you care for us, God. You say come on ye that labor and are heavy laden. Oh God, you gave us a privilege on today, God. That we'll be able to come to the throne boldly, God. Oh God, you taught us fail, Lord. That we'll be able to make our petition known unto you, Lord. Oh God, so we throw it all at you right now, God. Oh God, we throw everything at you right now, God. Even our ugly selves, God. Even our faults and despairs, God. Everything, Father God, that's contrary to your will and to your way that's even resided in our hearts, body, minds. Or even our soul, God. We lay it down at your feet, God, because we know you're the only one that can fix it. We know you're the only one that can change it, God. We know you're the only one that can straighten it out, God. Oh, God, so we open ourselves up unto you right now, Father God. That you may be able to enter in, Lord. That you may be able to take residence, God. Oh, God, we welcome you on today, Father God. We welcome you into our situation. We welcome you into our homes. We welcome you into your ghost and our feet. Into our very lives, our minds, and even our bodies and our soul, God. Oh God, we give you an in your ghost and our feet. We accept your invitation, Father God. And we welcome you and we open it up ourselves unto your Father God. Oh God, and we're the Niaka Shakir and Oh God, we're going to bless you. We're going to bless you in the midst of your entering in, God. We're going to lift you up and we're going to bow down to you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Because of so many times, Father God, we are not in situation. We are not in concern and that worry, Father God, to cloud us, God. To fall us, God, in the name of Jesus. They keep us from being in your face, God. But we dare not allow anything to keep us from opening up our mouths and giving you the glory. We dare not allow it to rise the ground for us, God. We dare not allow any situations, Father God, to overtake us even in our thought mentality, God. That we will not be able to lift you up and praise you and bless you, God. Because you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy of it, Father God, and we have been cheating you out of your praise. We've been treating you to your own feet. Cheating you out of your worship, God. It seems like the only time we come to your face, the only time we want to be at your feet, Father God, is when we're begging. The only time we want to come to your Father God is when we need you to step in. Oh God, but we coming to you on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that before we get to begging for anything, God, we're going to honor you, Father God, for who you are. We're going to honor you as our King of Kings and our Lords of Lords, God. We're going to honor you as the great I am, Lord, because you are he who was, who is and who is to come, Lord. There's none greater than you, Father God. Oh, God, there's none greater than you, Lord, and we just want to tell you how much we love you, God. We want to tell you how much we love you, Father God. If there's nobody else loves us, God, we know you love us, God. And we want to say you we love you right back. If people hate us, God, we know you don't hate us, God. If people envy us, God, we know that you are nothing to 
child of God. Oh God, and we thank you for loving us even in spite of God. Even in spite of people hating us, God. Even in spite of people dealing with we want to tell you how much we love you. We want to tell you thank you, God, for loving us, God. Oh, God. We thank you for loving us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. He got in the local season when we thought other folks turned their back on us, God. We know you never turned your back on us, God. It may have seemed like it, Father God, but we know you did not turn your back on us, God. We know that you are with us, God, even into the very end of the world, God. And for that, we want to say thank you, God. We want to thank you on today, Father God, because you did so many things for us, God. You did something for us then, Father God, that we may be able to be on our sheep now. Oh, God, and for that, we want to say thank you, God. We want to thank you all today, God, for even giving us a man, Father, just to even want to come to your throne. We want to thank you all today, Father, God, for even waking us up with a sound man, even a man stayed on you, God, because we could have woke up a little Oh, God, we could have woke up confused. We know doing our very name. Oh, God, but you allowed us to know our name, God. You allowed us to have stability in our mind and even in our thoughts, Father God, even when they try to run wild with us, God. Even when our thoughts try to make us seem or think or feel or even act a certain kind of way, Father God, you gave us some balance in our mind and for that. Ah! We want to say thank you, God. We want to thank you for the restoration and even for the hope, Father God, in the name of Jesus, even in the midst of feeling hopeless, God. We want to thank you all today, Father God, and even if I shut that in our Garcia. We want to thank you all today, God, for even keeping us all during the night from all our arm and danger, seen and unseen, God. You kept that wild away, and even that murderer, Father God. And for that, we want to say thank you, God. Oh, God, we want to thank you for giving us your traveling mercies as we travel the highways and the byways, God. And count your angels around our cars, God, keeping us from that accident, Father God. And E V I D O O C, God, we thank you for your protection. We thank you for your protection, Father God, even from the diseases in the land, God, the sickness, God. We thank you for the shielding, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We thank you for keeping us from death, God. And allowing us to have life, Lord. We thank you, God. For allowing us that you need to go see us. Taking that little go see. Oh, God. We thank you for allowing that deaf angel to over-surpass us, God. It did not <laughs> You captured it, God, and for that. <laughs> we want to thank you on today, Father God. He got that and loco sucked it and I can see. <laughs> we thank you for staying your hand in the midst of it, Father God, and not destroying our righteous with the sin of God. Oh, my God. <laughs> We thank you, God, for giving us that brand new mercy every day because you know we are mad, God. Even in the midst of you knowing that we are mad, God, you show your loving kindness and for that, ah, we want to thank you, God. Oh God, we thank you for the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of peace and you are the harmony. We thank you for your precious blood, Jesus. Because if it wasn't for the blood, Lord, I don't know what we would do, God, or what we would be, God. Your blood justifies some things for us and for that. Oh. We want to thank you, God. We want to thank you. I see I can shut it and I can see. 
we want to thank you on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> for directing our footsteps to God in our path and making a way out of nowhere, even when we did not see the way, God. We thank you for the outpouring of your spirit, Jesus, and the Akashat. Jesus, that you would circumcise our hearts on today, God. 
remove all that stuff that is not useful for you and your kingdom, God. Oh God, we ask for you to give us a heart of flesh, God, that everything that you speak, teach, or either tell us, Father God, it'll stimulate some things. It'll change some things, God, and it's surely a rearrange some things. We ask for you to write your words on the tables of our heart that we shall not sin against you, Father God. Put your truth down into the very mouth of our belly. Uproot all those seeds, Father God, that's causing us, Father God, to, to live a wayward life. God, I'm asking you to help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, remove everything from our hearts and our minds that's not like your God. Remove any jealousy, envy, and exact right and tell, very covenants, and others use maliciousness. Debate, hate, any bitterness, fornication, masturbation, any vain thinking, foul thinking, perverted thinking, any hate, God. Remove that spirit of greed and haughtiness and pride on today, Father God. I'm asking you right now, Father God, remove that dainty spirit on today, Father God. Point our finger wagging our heads at one another, God. Oh God, being a busy body, God. Remove that opinionistic spirit and that antagonistic spirit on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking you to sever and cut out that spirit of self-consciousness on today, God. I'm asking you to lift your people, build your people, sustain your people, stabilize your people, and give your people balance, God. I'm asking you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would outpour your spirit amongst your people, Father God, that they will not waver, God, they will not falter, Father God, they will stand firm, steadfast, holy and unmovable, Lord. I'm asking you to do it on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, even in the midst of these trying times. I'm asking you to keep us safe, Father God. Even in the midst of your wrath, God. I'm asking you to keep us, God, but only if it's according to your will, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you to do it right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And stay your hand concerning it. Ah! Oh, God! I'm asking you to do it on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and even sustain your people, Father God, bring back that backslider, Father God, because you say you will not give them a divorce decree. You said in your word, Father God, that you are simply married to them. I'm asking you to bring them back into your fold, Father God, in the name of Jesus, let them not harden their heart no longer, God, but let them come running to you, lifting up their hands, asking you what must they do to be saved. I'm asking you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, to return that wayward person and that person who even now, just who you are. Oh God, I'm asking you to do it on today, God, because I know that you can, God. I'm asking you to touch every spiritual leader right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus and let them speak your word and speak your truth, God. I'm asking you to put cause of fire on that tongue that it'll burn up everything that's not like you, God, and remove that spirit of fear, God. Oh God, remove that spirit of lost hope on today, Father God. I'm asking you to cast down that spirit of suicide on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I'm asking you right now, Father God, that you would give your people even more life in an abundance that your promise is God. And we accept it and receive it on today, Father God. I'm asking you to give your people assurance, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that even in the midst of the place that they think is all so dark, that you are even with them then in the very darkness. Oh God, let your people know that you are their light, they shining that you don't go see. They bore walk and they bury them, Father God, even God, how you didn't go see. When that thing feel like it's come crashing down, let your people know, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that every prophet that they have, God is just in a drop in a bucket unto you, God. Let your people know, Father God, that it is nothing you go on to say that it is less than nothing. Oh, God, let your people know, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you hold all power in your hands, God. And even though, Father God, they may be your go shining and go shining and I can see, I'm asking you to show your mercy. Show your mercies on that stiff neck. Show your mercies on the Akashat that it all goes silent and I can see. Oh God, I'm asking you to tear down the barriers on today, Father God. I'm asking you to direct the footsteps and guide the path for your people, Father God, that you will live upright and holy, God. I'm asking you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you will be Akashat that it all goes silent. Remove that spirit of deception at the midst of your people. Remove that spirit of manipulation at the midst of your people. Remove that spirit of greed at the midst of your people. Let your people know that they are victors and not victims. Oh God, I'm asking you that you don't go shut that in Akasia. I'll pour your spirit on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Give your people the more, God, even as they seek you the more, God. And even if they have the Akasia, I'm asking you to do it on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Give your people the more, God, even as they seek you the more, God. 
you to smooth the way, God. Ah. Oh, God. I'm asking you to go before us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I'm asking you to rest smooth and abide within our midst on today, Father God. Touch the families on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Remove that spirit of division, God. Remove that spirit of confusion. Oh, God, I'm asking you right now, God, that you allow the families to be reconciled, that they may forgive one another, God. Oh, God, because forgiveness is the key, Father God, to freedom and victory. Let your people know, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that they will not shout and cannot dwell on the past. Let the past be simply that the past. Oh God, I'm asking you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would allow your people not to take their past into their future. Oh God, I'm asking you to sever any old hurts, any soul ties and any old ties. I'm asking you to uproot it and upluck it, Father God. I'm asking you to remove the tension inside of the hearts and the minds of your people, Father God. Remove that know-it-all spirit, that self-righteous spirit walking in their own righteousness, God. I'm asking you to allow your will to be done in the lives and the hearts and the bodies of minds and even in the very lives of your people, Father God. That they will not miss the mark of the high calling. I'm asking you to give your people the strength, Father God. Give them the strength, Father God, and even in strengthening your people, Lord. Give them enough strength to bear the infirmities of the weak. Oh God, let us not talk about one another, God. Remove that evil of Hosanna, that bragging spirit, God. That evil of see smooth the jacket edges, God. Oh God, I'm asking you to let us be on one accord and on one mind, God. Walking in unison, God, that we may be able to reason with one another. Even in disagreement, let us be able to reason with one another. Remove any confusion and division, even on the job sites, Father God. I'm asking you to come and come around you don't go see direct heal on. He can never go see. Oh God, I'm asking you to speak the word peace in the lives of your people. Because I know, Father God, that you got that kind of power. You can simply speak a thing, and it is so. Jesus, ha! Oh God, I'm asking you to help us on today, Father God. I'm crying out for your people everywhere, in every nation, every tongue, and every culture, God. Oh God, I'm asking you to do what you do best. And that's simply to see about us. Oh God, we tell you that we love you on today, God. We tell you that we appreciate you on today, God. Oh, God, and we tell you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, just how grateful we are, Jesus. Oh, God, touch our children. Touch our children on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Remove that perverted spirit sexually, Father God. I'm asking you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, uh, that you will sever those thoughts on today, Father God. I'm asking you to purge out all that sexual deceit in the minds of our children, God. Cover me your blood, hide them behind your cross, Father God. I'm asking you to protect them from that pedophile, that bully, and even that mean man, God. Remove the scales off their eyes that they'll be able to clearly see the truth, Father God, and give them your protection, Father God. Let them know, the local see. I'm asking you to sever that spirit of perversion out from amongst all your people, Father God, that it will not overtake the land. Oh God, I'm asking you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would allow me to go sing that need local see. Oh God, he called my mind, the Akash. Have mercy. Have mercy, God. I am the needy little local son. Have mercy amongst the beasts of the land. We are Kashan in the local sea. Amongst the fowls of the air. I am the needy little local son. Even amongst mankind, all your creations, Father God. Even the very elements that you allow us, Father God, to have the privilege to use. I am the needy little local I'll put your mercy. Oh God. Overflow, let not the death of blood overtake us, God. Help us on today, Father God, to accept those things, Father God, that you have placed in our lives, Father God. With no regrets, Father God, remove any regrets, any bitterness in our hearts, in our minds, in our bodies, Father God. Let us not point the finger or even blame another. Oh God, but teach us, cover us, comfort us. Oh God. He cut them locals. 
come back to you to touch every prophet, Lord, in the name of Jesus and all the land. Give them that holy moments, Father God, and let them not only be on go shunning and like I see ya. Oh God, but let them speak and speak boldly of your word, Father God. Sound me the alarm of warning. Oh God, I'm letting it go see ya. I'm letting it go see ya. Oh, mama, me, I can shun it and go see ya. I'm asking you to even touch leadership, Father God, in the government. Oh, mama, need a local shun, need a la casilla, take a nana, need a local shun. Oh, God, I'm asking you to replenish. She cut, need a local sun, need a la casilla. Let not the land go dry. Hey, yeah, that it is a local sea. Rain down the aca shun, need a local sea. Oh, God. I'm asking you to do it on today, Father God, because only you can. And I know that you are God and you are God all by yourself and that you don't need no help, God. But you say that we also come forward and make our petition known. I'm doing it on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would even go into the homes. Let there be peace in the homes and the relationships on the jobs, Father God, with friendships, Father God, mother, father, sister, brother. Oh, God, in the entire land. But only according to your will. Oh, God, I'm asking you even now, God, to answer these prayers. And all others, Lord, in your son Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. This is our side ministries international. I want to tell you guys that I love you. And so do Jesus. Please join us live on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Live on Tuesdays at 6, Thursdays at 6, and this is 6 p.m. And on Saturdays at 12 noon. And of course, you know, we're going live on Sundays. Please continue to pray. Don't stop. We have a five-week prayer line going on three days a week. That's Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 a.m. Please go on our website at harvesttimemen.org. Get all the information that you need for any area of your life. Please send in your prayer requests. We are a praying church for you. Please send in your prayer requests. You can go online and send in your prayer requests on our, our, our website, which is harvestsidemen.org. Or you can call the number, area code 251-214-9160. Yours truly, Yvette, please call. I'm always available on the full-time ministry 24-7. It's never too early and never too late. You can always call me. Make a donation, please. Pay your tithes. Give your offer. Whatever the Lord put on your heart. Go to our website. You can even cash out us at HTMI. Know that I love you. Know that I love you and I'm praying for you. If I don't see you, know I'm praying. If I know you, know I'm praying. Even if I don't know you, I'm praying for every tongue, every nation, and every culture. Please join me. Pray with us here at Harvest Time Ministries. Know that I love you. May God bless you. And thank you for joining us. Thank you.